has been bringing you all the reports from from ground zero and uh, right now i am joined in by our correspondent bruce harrison who's reporting live from hong kong let's quickly go across to bruce bruce a very good afternoon to you now beijing has imposed new quarantine measures in what and, and what's the situation like in hong kong and mainland china are there any new measures being introduced in hong kong also Well, obviously, the situation is not as severe in Hong Kong as it is in mainland China at this time. Officials here are really focused on making sure that anyone returning to Hong Kong from the mainland uh, is put into a qua proper quarantine facility. Uh, interestingly enough, one of the areas where they purchased land is on the Disney World uh, Resort. The property is right next to that facility. And we have some uh, interesting Can you folks here. Me, yeah. Excuse me. We'll get back to you shortly. Yes, yes, a bit later. Yes, thank you very much. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, some of that quarantine property they purchased is next to Disney Dis on the Disney World Resort. I can't pronounce that. And uh, hopefully they're going to bring more than 2,000 people back from Hubei province and put them uh, in different quarantine facilities throughout Hong Kong. That's the biggest goal of the Hong Kong government right now. It's a massive challenge. Right. Bruce, if the situation can be eased out there for you, certainly lots of love pouring there for you, as I can see. But coming back to our focus, Hong Kong, too, has been battling a shortage of masks and medical supplies. How's the city tackling the crisis at the moment? Well, there's a shortage of masks in many different countries around the world right now. And I'm not wearing a mask this afternoon. Typically, I would be. Uh, but I did interview uh, an epidemiologist, a professor of infectious diseases yesterday. Um, he's not the only one. Many people are saying that truly the only way to prevent yourself from contracting the virus is to wash your hands thoroughly with warm water and soap and, and make sure that you keep your smartphone clean. They say actually these masks, like the one I'm holding right here, do very little to prevent airborne virus and bacteria. Uh, they say the reason more and more people are buying these products is because simply uh, it's a it's a what they call panic buying. It's assumed that it'll protect you, but ultimately they have downsides, and you can make yourself sick if you wear these too long and don't get them cleaned. Um, but the shortage is real, and it's hurting doctors as well because while people are buying these in the streets, they're actually not having enough in medical clinics to keep medical staff there safe. This is a huge province, a problem in Hong Kong, as well as Hubei province um, and Wuhan. Right, Bruce, we're also coming across reports about how Hong Kong's domestic workers are struggling for a day off as the virus calls for them to stay at home. Do throw light on this aspect. Domestic workers here, I mean, by and large, people are working. Uh, one of the biggest challenges has been deciding whether or not to put people uh, back in the workplace or to offer them the flexibility to work from home. It's been a number. It's been a uh, it's been a challenge uh, to really decide. And, and most of the bigger companies still have that flexible option open right now uh, for the time being. Uh, government employees will return to work within a few weeks. Schools will return to work within a few weeks as well. Uh, that's what I know right now. I think we should wrap you up because we're getting some Saturday afternoon revelers here in Hong Kong. As you can see, not everybody's worried about the virus in this city. Back to you. They may and ask them how they, what do they feel about the situation. Perhaps you can just bring them into the frame and maybe we can also have a chat with them and maybe ask what their opinion is of the situation. I, all I can say right now uh, at this time is that as far as uh, mainland China is concerned, uh, Beijing says it's under control. Wang Yisting, counselor, saying yesterday that countries criticizing China for losing uh, control of the situation right. are outright wrong. Outside of Hubei province, they say the number right. of cases are falling significantly. Oh, okay, the f cases are following significantly, but now the trust level in Hong Kong for the Chinese government has also evaporated. It's been evaporating for long, in fact. Is the coronavirus outbreak also adding to further tensions between Hong Kong and China? I think right now what we're seeing at least on the surface, is a unified front. Everybody wants to fight the coronavirus. Everybody wants to make sure um, that containment works and we can get beyond this as quickly as possible. Um, yes, the mass demonstrations last year caused a lot of tension, and certainly Hong Kong 
people here uh, certainly don't trust Beijing. Um, last Earlier this week, we saw the head of the Hong Kong and Macau office removed from power. Well, I should say he was demoted. Uh, that's a sign that Beijing perhaps feels that uh, Hong Kong needs to be dealt with differently in terms of the coronavirus. That could have been a hangover from the demonstrations as well. Um, on the surface, I think uh, both sides are trying their best to get along to make sure that it doesn't spread any further. Carrie Lam, the chief executive, took steps at least a month ago to close most of travel from the mainland. Um, and that's why you see so fewer cases here compared to um, Hubei province. All right. Uh, and compared to Wuhan, of course, you know, the mood certainly seems very celebratory at the moment in Hong Kong. I'll let you go and join in the revelry. It's good to see people celebrating compared to mainland China, where most of the cities are looking like ghost towns. Go ahead and join in the weekend celebrations and stay safe for now from women and the virus. Yeah, these people may not be aware of what's going on. But, yeah, some people are still enjoying their weekends despite the scares. All right, which Thank is you. good. Thank you so much.